Yeah, so you're hoping at some point you're gonna like become Turtle Boy and get to Elastic Boy. Yeah, he listen. He 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 had a lot of powers in the, in the comics, and uh, they're gonna re bring me into the heroic side of things sooner or later. We just had a conversation about that, and um, I'm curious to see how that goes, and I'm ready to kick some biz out. <laughs> Jimmy Olsen in the comics is quite, quite uh, nervous and kind of uh -huh. geeky guy. It's James Olsen, he's kind of a little, a little more grown up, a little more short and stuff because he's spent a time with Superman. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, he went to Superman Confidence Boot Camp, right? yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's, uh, you know, he's got, he's picked up some pointers with Superman, you know. I mean, if you're the best friend of Superman, you're going to have some sort of confidence. I mean, it's, it's going to be great at the bar. Like, So what do you do? Uh, I hang out with Superman. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So what are you doing later? You know what I mean? It's going to work out. So I think he, he, you know, he's coming to his own. He's won a Pulitzer Prize uh, for photographing Superman. He's, um, he's a photojournalist now, becoming an uh, art director. And, um, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's got a little more confidence. Yeah. And this is a version of... You know, Jimmy James, and I don't think anybody's ever seen before, no. really in the comics. So, like, how does that feel to be able to say, "This is a well-known character that I can also really take and make my own"? It feels great. It feels, I mean, it's, it's daunting in a way because it's like um, daunting, good, but it's it's you want to you want to do the comics justice, but at the same time, it's like it's like this quote that Tom Hanks said once. Not not, not comparing myself to Tom Hanks, but, <laughs> but but the quote applies. He said to Jim Lovell when he was playing Apollo 13, he said. It doesn't really matter who, he goes, I want to apologize to you. And he says, why? He goes, because it doesn't matter who you were, they're going to remember you as me. And so it's, it's, it's a unique opportunity I have to, to with respect, re recreate this character. Like, I'm not the first, you know, physical choice that you would choose for Jimmy Olsen. But it just kind of goes to show you that this country's moving in the right direction. Yeah. And, um, you know, you can't blame people for, you know, 80, 75 years ago writing what they knew, which was a very monochromatic existence, and, you know, it is what it is, right? But um, we're correcting some of those, some of those uh, inequities. Well, I like the fact that actually you say, well, I'm not necessarily the physical choice. I, I actually look forward to when that's not even a question. So I think you're doing a lot to kind of, that's, that's what we all want, is to have it just become part of the consciousness yeah. and, the, and the pop culture. I agree, I agree. We, we took down a Confederate flag in South Carolina. Yeah. I never thought I'd see that happen. I'm from the South, too, so I'm like, wow. I'm really excited that this is a female superhero show Me too. along those Me too. lines. What do you hope that young women take away from Supergirl? Same thing I took away from it, from the script, because it's like, it, it's, it, I don't, here's the thing. I don't think it matters if you're a man or a woman. Like, she is a person coming into her own accepting her own greatness. That's not gender specific, right? Like, to me that was, when I read the script, I was like, <laughs> cheered up a little bit because, because it's like, that's, that's a struggle that we're all having internally. Like, am I gonna be my higher self or am I gonna just kinda hide? You know, and I, I think that, one, that's a great message for young women because, let's just put it, be honest, this country has really disenfranchised women for a very long time. And, to instill that sort of confidence and, and to instill that, you know, live as who you are, be as big and as bright as you can shine, that's a great message. And like, I don't have any kids yet, but when I, when I do have a daughter, I'm gluing her to the TV and she's gonna watch this shit. Oh. Can I ask you, uh, what's the most relatable thing about your character? Like, what made you be like, this is the role for me to have to play? Uh, his name was Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> <laughs> is that a real question? Oh, okay. If you get a chance to play a comic book character, you do it. Like, that's, that's it. I grew up on it. I grew up on Superman, Batman comics, Archie comics. Um, and just to sort of like be part of the world. You know, it's just, it's still, sur it's still surreal. Like, this is my first Comic Con. This is like, I'm, I'm a nerd myself. Like, people don't think I am, but I, I really am. And, uh, no one's going to gatekeep you here, don't worry. Yeah. What's up? No one's going to gatekeep you. This is not a gatekeep, don't worry. Yeah. Gatekeep you. Oh, that means like, prove you, love you, oh, and say nerd check. That's how, oh, you can nerd check me all day. <laughs> <laughs> nerd check me. Nerd check me. Ooh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I gotta go. But you about to get nerd checked again. Oh, you know what? Are you Next on Twitter? Year, because year. we know people will come get you. Oh yeah, come get me. Nerd check me. Nerd check me all day. <laughs>